Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here. I'm giving you a reading from the Adepta Sororita, Sisters of Battle 6th Edition Codex. This is a fluff reading, part one. The Sisters of Battle. The Adepta Sororitas, also known as the Sisters of Battle, are an elite sisterhood of warriors, raised from infancy to adore the Emperor of Mankind. Their fanatical ad ad devotion and unwavering purity is a bulwark against corruption, heresy, and alien attack. And once battle has been joined, they will stop at nothing until their enemies are utterly crushed. Battle sisters will stride through fire if need be, their bolters spitting staccato bursts of destruction every step of the way. Not even death can stay the wrath of the Adepta Sororitas. Indeed, the blood of martyrs only strengthens the resolves of battle sisters, spurring them to greater acts of heroism in the name of the honored fallen. The Adeptus Ministorum, or Ecclesiarchy, as it is generally known in the Imperium, is a monolithic organization founded on the worship of the Emperor as the Savior of Mankind and preaching of the imperial creed throughout the whole galaxy. The Sisters of Battle are an army of the Ecclesiarchy. Clad in Ceramite power army, they carry an awesome array of weaponry with which to vanquish their enemies. The incredible wealth of the Ecclesiarchy ensures that they are equipped with the best war gear the Imperium has to offer. The Sisters of Battle are trained to the peak of human ability and stand amongst mankind's most dedicated and disciplined warriors. Wherever there are foes of the Emperor, the Sisters of Battle will be found fighting with faith and steel. When not actively persecuting an ecclesiarchal war, the Battle Sisters of the Order's Militant divide their time between rigorous training and devout worship of the Emperor. Indeed, to the Adepta Sororitas, the disciplines are nigh inseparable. For whilst combat drills and studies of battle tactics can hone the body and the mind, only penitent prayer can bolster the spirit and all three are required to defeat the Imperium's foes. The combination of combat doctrine and prayer is most evident on the battlefield, where the Battle Sisters loudly proclaim their faith in hymn and verse as they march to war, calling upon the Emperor to aid them in the fight against their enemies. Perfervid unquestioning nature of this faith is a potent weapon indeed, manifesting as divine inspiration that drives the sororitas to unprecedented feats of martial prowess. Sisters of battle, gripped with holy fervor, banish worldly fears with their minds, shrug off mortal wounds, and summon preternatural strength to smite their foes. The Sisters of Battle believe their faith to be the weapon stronger than any steel, and those who witness their battlefield miracles are left in no doubt that the spirit of the Emperor indeed walks with these pious warriors. Once battle has been joined, the Adepta Sotoratas will stop at nothing until their enemies are utterly crushed. Yes, they said that twice. Next, Scola Perigum. Progenium, sorry, Scola Progenium. 
The Scola Progenium is responsible for the care and education of orphans of imperial servants. By the time a progenia reaches early adolescence, they will have displayed skills in a specific direction, and their subsequent tutelage will hone them to a career in one of the imperial organizations. Most of the progena will end up in the Adeptus Terra as scribes, clerks, or overseers. However, a few will be assigned to higher positions. Male progena may become commissars or soldiers in the Imperial Guard, petty officers in the Imperial Navy, or enter the priesthood of the Adeptus Ministorum. Female progena may well enter into the Adeptus Sororitas. Progena of both sexes may be recruited into the Inquisitor or even the Officio, Officio Assassinorum. Though the lifestyle of the teachers and pupils in strict are in strict wow this is a lot of spelling mistakes is strict and puritan it is a great honor to pass through the scola progenium and those who are well aware and those who are do are well aware of their privilege trust me this is spelling mistakes <laughs> next the origins of the Adepta Sororitas in part two. Bye!